founders of Titan Medical Center, John and Cherie Sikouris. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, I need everybody just to get up out of their seats real quick and drop down and give me 10 push-ups. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Just sit there. I'm just playing around. So when I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed with endometriosis, a very painful and debilitating disease. I was also diagnosed with another very popular disease called blind faith. Now, for those of you out there that do not know what that is, that is when you go to a doctor and you're looking for the cure and he's going to give you that cure. Well, in my particular scenario, he didn't give me a cure. He just gave me lots and lots of medications and lots of invasive laparoscopic surgeries. Sounds like fun, right? No. <gasps> no. Okay. So, I actually ran into a few different things. One of my challenges was that I did miss half of my senior year of high school due to all the surgeries and all the pain that I was in. So I had to go and sit in front of a committee and explain to them exactly what was going on, but I did do it with a smile and a 3.9 GPA. 28 years old, I was tired, I was lethargic. I was also working with doctors and athletes and I still couldn't find out the problem. It was one simple blood test they told me my hormone problems were off, free and total testosterone were low. When I changed this and I fixed my hormones, I felt like a whole different person. It was like the shade opened up for the first time and I just seen the sun. It was awesome and I felt awesome. I felt like if I was like this, then there were other people out there that felt the same way. So I knew that we could help them. It was lucky that I had my best friend, my business partner, and my wife alongside of me to be able to open this up. But the problem was not being able to fund it. With $2,000, it was real rough. Now we have to remember, this $2,000 was our tax return check, and it was from the IRS and the very last bit of money that we had. So. Not only did we have to figure out how we were going to fund the medical center, but we cannot forget that we had a two-year-old cute little Greek hungry baby at home that needed lots of food and lots of diapers. So this was going to be an interesting uh, task for us. So I did go to my mom and I asked her, I said, hey mom, listen, this is the idea we got. I know we can do this. I have, a, sure, I, this is going to work. She looked at me and she goes, are you absolutely out of your mind? Now, mind you, my mother is from Trinidad. She's very old school, okay? So she goes, you're crazy. She goes, you know what? I think you guys are going to end up in a box under I-75. Well, we did it. We opened up tight medical center. We found a place that would rent to us day by day and by the week. We found a doctor that would work with us by patient by patient, and we created our dream. We envisioned. It was awesome but then rolled around the speed bumps and those curveballs that come at you. After we had the practice up and running, the place that we're running from said, you gotta be out in 30 days. We kind of freaked out. At that point, we put our heads down, we put them together, and we found a place that would rent us a space, we had the build out done, and we were up and running again. We have a thriving practice today, and it's awesome. But being an entrepreneur, nobody believes in you at all. That's very true. And I'll tell you, it's very important, especially to us because we've been through the trials and tribulations. It's very important that we educate as many people out there as possible that if they might be experiencing some of those same things that we had to go through, that we can help those people. Up to this day, we have helped thousands of people nationwide, and we will continue to help thousands of people nationwide. I cannot tell you how rewarding it is every single day that I get up that we have been able to help people, whether it's get out of bed and go to work, or it just might be a better time in the bedroom with your significant other, because we all like that, right? So my very last words here I want to leave you with is having blind faith is never a good thing. Having no faith from your family and your friends is an even worse thing. But having faith in yourself and each other, 
that is the equation to success and dreams.